Well, we're starting off with uh, pretty much your stock standard uh, Colt Sockum M4A1 carbine. Okay, we're having another AR video today. I thought we'd you know, kind of recap briefly. Last uh, New Year, we took a look at uh, both of these. This is my XM177E2 carbine build. Like I said, uh, we shot it last New Year's on the video, and you saw it then. This was not the first Colt carbine, but uh, really the first one to go into any sort of mass production. I built this one up from an A1 kit using a pencil, 11 and a half inch barrel, permatach flash hider, two position buttstock, the usual setup. Good replica. I have, as I said on the last video, I took a few uh, liberties, like the straight slip ring versus the delta, just aesthetics. But these are original Colt handguards and an original Colt fiber like stock versus the metal. This is uh, just an extended 5.5 flash hider. That was the uh, first carbine. During the 80s, Colt went through several carbines, including the 723 and 727, before having the XM M4 which became the M4 in 1994. This is my Colt LE 6920, the standard one with the uh, law enforcement only roll markings I've had for several years. Just your solid standard uh, Colt M4 carbine, removable carry handle, iron sights, four position, butt stock, grenade, good <coughs> 203 grenade launcher cut, uh, Barrel there, double heat shield hand guards, side slings over mount. You know, you've seen these everywhere. I just thought I'd recap here before moving on to the, the two new guns for today. Okay, the first of our uh, two new guns. This is my Colt Mark 18 Mod Zero clone. I've always thought these were nice guns. Shorties. Set up as a pistol here. It has a Factory Colt 10.3 upper with the enlarged gas port and uh, O-ring on the extractor. These are double heat shielded M4 handguards, which are correct for an early contract Navy. Standard A3 upper receiver here. I just put a DPMS A2 rear sight on because the LMTs are hard to find. I've got a um, Forms friend who's cutting down an A2, excuse me, an A3 carry handle. Once that happens, I'll put that on there to complete the look. Pistol buffer tube made by uh, Ace, I believe, and the now famous Sig shooting brace. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Anyway, everyone knows that. I just think they're uh, real comfortable. I've always thought these are nice, neat little guns. I'm not much into uh, AR pistols with the 7.5 inch barrel, but since this one is close to mil spec, at least inspired by a military gun, it fits my collection well. We've test fired this uh, assembly once and it ran fine. We're going to do it again just in a bit. But uh, yeah, this is my AR pistol to go with uh, the others. The uh, Mark 18 has been in use by uh, the Navy and certain other special forces uh, units for about 10 years now and uh, this is a complete original Colt uh, Colt upper I found over at the holidays H1 buffer in there which is a specification for this seems like it runs fine we've had no trouble out of it with that so yeah And here we go. My newest uh, creation here. I won't say build because I didn't build it, but God, this thing weighs as much as an RPK, even my RPD maybe. I wonder if soldiers get tired. This is a Colt LE6920 SOCOM marked M4A1 carbine. This is uh, Colt's current offering. They claim as close as to military as they're going to do. There you go. It's essentially the same as the M4 you saw earlier, except it has a heavier barrel 
under the handguards, not out front, but under. Ambidextrous fire mode selector. Knight's armament quad rails. Here. And of course, it comes with the, uh, the Maltec backup iron sights, which you probably can't see, but they're there. Obviously, I've done some things to this one, like everyone who buys these does. First off, I installed a Sopmund buttstock made by B5. Why pay for an LMT when you can get uh, a B5? I mean, I even talked to LMT distributors, and they said, quite frankly, the stock is an LMT killer. It works just as well, and it's half the price. So I've got uh, four batteries in it here in these compartments, rubberized butt plate. As I said, it has the Knight's Armament rails with Knight's Armament rail covers. It also has a Colt Laser Max front grip. I picked up these on sale around New Year's from CDNN. This is the version that has a navigation light. It has eyes off, regular laser, pulse laser. And this, you know, permanent on off or just pressure switch. Not bad for an 80 bucks setup across the board. There was a promotion they were doing New Year's uh, weekend or something. Next up for adaptations, we went with some uh, sights. These are both, this whole setup is from Primary Arms. We've got a uh, AA battery. Red dot. We have a magnifier here three times on a Samson mount. And then here you can see the flip up Matak rear sight. My cameraman here just got through wit co witnessing the shit out of this thing. There you go for all you mall ninja tactical crowd. Everything co-witnesses at least as far as possible. I don't know, probably even the light on the damn laser grip co-witnesses. I know it is fun to chase the cats around the house with it. That's pretty much my enjoyment right there from, from it. It's worth 80 bucks just to make my cat run into the wall repeatedly. She's not very smart, but she is pretty, so there you go. In the back here, you've got a quick detach of a tour sling swivel on this stop and stock. Kind of nice. I do like that for taking the sling off in a hurry. This is a Colt factory uh, SOCOM stock, kind of made of a nylon material, not the cotton webbing. God, this thing is heavy. I don't know how many more pounds it weighs than the M4, but what you do. These are interesting because they have an H2 buffer in here. see it I know but there it is and they are roll marked M4 A1 carbon on the bottom like a military now I just ordered this one and received it in last month and I received the Knight's Rail however I've read online some people are receiving Troy rails so it seems like it's just luck of the draw. I don't think it's Colt trying to cheapen up. From what I've heard from Knights, it's Knights having a supply problem. They're just, you know, so far behind they can't supply Colt civilian guns. So they're just not a priority to them. So uh, I don't know if uh, Troy will be the permanent new rail or if it's just kind of a, you know, luck of the draw. You get either or. Um, you know, I, I know Knights are the more popular rail. Or as my speech says, CAC. I don't know if the rest of you say cack or not, but I think it sounds funny. It's like a, you know, Massachusetts way of saying cock to me, but yeah, my speech says a lot of funny stuff. But yeah, we're going to take this guy out. We've never uh, shot it. I'm sure I'll get great use out of this red dot and magnifier, you know. Yeah. That's why I bought primary arms and not uh, aim point or EOTech. I do have an EOTech on my archer, but that's because a friend basically gave it to me. So, uh. 
why not? It does complete the look, and that's ultimately what I'm in this for. I'm a military collector, and that's kind of what I enjoy. Anyway, thought I'd share a couple of my modern AR-15 uh, M4 derivatives today, and uh, you know, compare them to the two older ones, and it uh, really does round out my uh, AR collection with a little modernity. But uh, eh, just something fun to do over the holidays. Projects are always a hoot. Thanks for tuning in.